Well, you know, we owe literally everything we have in the United States to the men and women who served in World War II. And seven decades after the war ended, some of the bravest heroes are still being honored. AOBA Live's Paul Harrop has the story of the remaining Doolittle Tokyo Raiders getting a Congressional Medal of Honor. It may have been 30 seconds over Tokyo, but for Dick Cole and David Thatcher, it's been a long time since. The two remaining Doolittle Raiders out of 80 have waited 72 years, 11 months, and 28 days for this moment. Gentlemen, may I present you the gold medal? The men are beyond brave. They signed up for a secret mission, not knowing what it was. And they said there was a, a, a mission being planned and, and, trained, and where the people were being trained and led by Jimmy Doolittle for a secret mission. They made their first carrier takeoffs ever in 16 B-25s from the deck of the USS Hornet. The Hornet was spotted by the Japanese and they had to launch hundreds of miles sooner than they had planned. And at that time when we took off for the mission against Japan, our calculations told us we would never get any closer to the Chinese coast than about 250 or 300 miles we are going to have to ditch. Still, they flew all day over the ocean to bomb Japan, knowing they didn't have enough fuel to make it where they wanted to in China. Of course, when we were out there, we didn't at first think we had enough gas. We were simply going to ditch next to the first ship we saw, and they'd take us aboard. Friendly ship, we'd sail off with them. Unfriendly, we all had 45s, we'd take it over. Those were the best plans we could make then, until we found out we got the tremendous break in the weather. Tailwinds helped them along. Those not shot down made it at least to the Chinese coast. The mission was tremendous for U.S. morale. The Raiders were heroes, even though they wouldn't let you tell them that. But as decades have passed, one by one, like Major Tom Griffin, they have flown west. There's but two left to receive this honor. Uh, I think it's um, very, very nice. Uh, it's, uh, actually, it's beautiful. Really surprising that we were able to get it. I'm glad it was for the entire crew. And it's an honor long overdue. Beautiful. Yeah. With reporting from Alyssa Miller, Paul Harrop, AOPA Live. Thanks, Paul. Truly the greatest generation.